Former pro boxer Oscar De La Hoya has recently put his Las Vegas mansion on the market for $20 million. It appears that he didn't even live in the home long at all. Purchasing the spread in spring 2022 for $14.6 million and investing millions to fully customize it to his taste. A stylish entrance featuring a water display welcomes you to the residence, which includes five bedrooms and seven bathrooms within nearly 9,000 square feet of living space. The home is designed with extensive glass walls that capture views of the Las Vegas Strip and the mountain. Luxurious amenities include a man cave, a movie theater, a hair salon, a gym, a wet bar, and there's a custom tribute room honoring De La Hoya's career, complete with a 10 by 10 boxing ring. Oscar De La Hoya, often known as the Golden Boy, is a celebrated figure in the world of boxing and beyond. Born on February 4th, 1973 in East LA, California, De La Hoya rose from humble beginnings to become one of the most successful and well-known boxers in history. Oscar De La Hoya was born into a boxing family. His grandfather, father, and brother were all boxers. He started boxing at a young age and quickly showed immense promise. By the time he was 17, De La Hoya had won the gold medal at the 1992 Barcelona Olympics, which earned him the nickname The Golden Boy. This victory catapulted him into the limelight and set the stage for his professional career. De La Hoya turned professional later that year and won his first 31 fights, securing world titles in six different weight classes, a rare and significant achievement. His fights were major events, often drawing large crowds and substantial pay-per-view audiences. Throughout his career, Deloya became a household name, not just for boxing, but for his charisma and good looks. De La Hoya retired from professional boxing in 2009 with a record of 39 wins and 6 losses. His impact on the sport, however, extended far beyond his in-ring accomplishments. He was instrumental in bringing attention to boxing during a time when it faced increasing competition from other sports and entertainment. Outside of boxing, Oscar De La Hoya has made significant strides as a businessman and promoter. In 2002, he founded Golden Boy Promotions, one of the most successful and influential boxing promo companies in the world. Under his leadership, Golden Boy Promotions has managed many top fighters and staged numerous high-profile events. De La Hoya's personal life has been eventful as his professional career. He's been married to Millie Corretier since 2001 and they have two children together. Additionally, he has three children from previous relationships. Despite facing some personal challenges, including battles with addiction and legal issues, De La Hoya has remained a prominent and respected figure in the boxing community. Oscar De La Hoya barely had a chance to enjoy the golf simulator in his new man cave before deciding to relist his sprawling Las Vegas mansion in Henderson, Nevada. The property nestled in the hillside community is now back on the market for an impressive $20 million. This is a significant increase from the $14.6 million former boxer champion paid in cash less than two years ago when the mansion was still unfinished. Records show Oscar purchased the property in spring 2022 and went on to invest millions more over the next two years to fully customize the single level home with personalized features. Situated behind three gates on a nearly one acre corner cul-de-sac parcel, the ultra modern structure was built by Blue Heron. It's part of the local development firm's Equinox collection at McDonald Highlands and was completed just last year. A stylish entrance featuring a water fountain and a covered port welcomes you to the mansion, which boasts five bedrooms and seven bathrooms within nearly 9,000 square feet of living space. The home showcases expansive glass walls that offer breathtaking views of the Las Vegas Strip and the McCullough Mountains. Luxurious amenities include Oscar's custom man cave, a movie theater, a hair salon, a gym, a wet bar, and a six car garage. There's also a custom tribute room adorned with memorabilia and a 10 foot by 10 foot boxing ring, all of which celebrates De La Hoya's entire career. Additional highlights of the home include a great room with fireplace, a dining area with a climate controlled wine room, an office, and a gourmet kitchen with expansive Eden Island and high end stainless steel appliances. Elsewhere, you'll find a secondary catering kitchen, which is perfect for entertaining guests. The lavish master suite features a showroom style closet dressing room, a spa inspired bath, an outdoor shower, and a private garden lanai. 
automated glass walls in Oscar's home open up to more than 2,400 square feet of luxury outdoor living space. Outdoor amenities are equally impressive with multiple pools, various lounging and entertaining areas, several TVs, a barbecue station, and a fire pit. While Oscar may be selling this impressive crib, he has some other options in terms of where he can live. The retired professional boxer paid $11.5 million for his longtime main mansion in Pasadena back in 2007. The Pasadena, California mansion, well, not much is known about it, but aerial views show the mansion's sprawling size, spanning over 11,500 square feet to be exact. We can also see it offers a swimming pool and other amenities. The property was previously owned by producers Gail Hurd and Jonathan Hensley and boasts 9 beds and 7 baths throughout. In 2017, Oscar further purchased a condominium in downtown Pasadena for $2.65 million. Located in the Montana building, this single-story unit features high ceilings, polished stone and hardwood floors, and gallery walls that extend throughout the home. The 4,150 square feet of interior space was elegantly designed by the late interior designer Joe Nye. The living spaces include a formal entry, living room with fireplace, an eating kitchen, a library den, Den, an office, three bedrooms, and four baths. Additionally, there's a wine cellar. Walls of windows and glass doors provide views of the private patio. At approximately 550 square feet, the outdoor living area is one of the largest in the residential development. Building amenities include 24-hour security, an indoor exercise pool, and a fitness center. The property was listed before Oscar's purchase for $2.95 million according to records. For now, that's going to bring our look at Oscar de la Hoya's impressive homes to an end. That wraps up our house tour, but before we go, try and answer this question for me. If you could make a tribute room in your home for yourself, what would it consist of or what would be the theme? Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and follow me on Instagram to chat. I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer. Thank you for watching and see you in another video. Bye! Hi everyone, it's Kara or Kara the Vampire Slayer as you might know me and given my love for all things house and home, I recently wanted to get more hands on myself and I started tackling DIY projects at my own house. Being a new homeowner, there are plenty of unexpected things to fix and it's cool to learn what you're doing and hopefully be able to fix it yourself. There are also plenty of DIY projects suitable for beginners like me to do and ones that improve the look of your space drastically. Follow me and I'll teach you what I'm learning and motivate you to join me. You can DIY on a budget even if you're a total beginner. Follow me on Fix It With Kara and we can chat.